reach in. All but over. Bean. Target practice. Over now. It's all over. Butterbean is one of those rare and unique fighters who can throw punches as well as miss punches at full extension and still not get injured in the process. Knocking out his opponent is another thing that he's really good at, and here's a video to prove his best moments knocking down his opponents. Number 10. Butterbean vs. George Lindberger This match between Butterbean and George Lindberger was scheduled for a good four rounds but ended sooner than expected. In fact, this was Butterbean's fastest win in his entire career, which he accomplished in 19 seconds of the first round. Due to this win, he was able to retain the IBA World Super Heavyweight Championship as well as win the WAA World Heavyweight Championship. The Super Heavyweight Championship started off with the bell being sounded and both the boxers getting into action quite instantly. George was trying to throw in a jab, but simply throwing in a jab at Butterbean could not cause any major damage and every fan of boxing knows that. Butterbean then proceeded to throw in a solid left hook. This also happened to be his opening punch and it seemed to work in his favor pretty well. For a couple of rounds, and then ultimately, of course, he's fighting. Whoa! George was floored instantly, and after a few seconds of shock, he managed to get back up on his feet. And then Butterbean goes Craven. Number 9. Butterbean vs. Kenny Craven. The match between Butterbean and Kenny Craven was scheduled for a good four rounds, but the match ended in the second round. Kenny had just a few years of experience in boxing when he went up against Butterbean. Following this match, he went up against Butterbean three more times. Kenny kept his left hand low, and he attempted to throw in as many jabs as he could. Kenny kept aiming at Butterbean's face, and Butterbean was fighting on the defense for a little while. Butterbean then attempted an uppercut but missed. In the second round, the match turned into a toe-to-toe -to -toe slugfest, and both the boxers attempted to throw body shots at each other. Lane, on the back of the head. Everybody knows who he is. Butterbean started throwing in big shots and Kenny was against the ropes and fatigued. Kenny tried to counter back, but nothing significant was landed. Butterbean then landed a body shot to Kenny's ribs, followed by a left hook to his body. Following this, he started aiming at Kenny's head. Kenny threw in an uppercut, but that wasn't enough to take Butterbean down. Kenny was struggling to hold on to his balance and his legs were left in a wobbly state. Back in Ellisville, Mississippi. Just a few seconds before he could collapse to the canvas, the referee intervened and called for a stoppage. Butterbean was able to retain the IBA World Super Heavyweight Championship with a win. Number 8. Butterbean vs. Marcus Road Marcus threw in a big right hand in the first round, and that connected pretty well with Butterbean. Butterbean then threw in a flurry of punches at Marcus, but Marcus took those punches like a boss. A few moments later, Butterbean and Marcus were caught in a clinch, and a while after that, Butterbean was against the ropes. This round also saw Marcus throw in another body shot that was quite immaculate. The boxers exchanged a few more jabs before they moved on to fight in round two. Butterbean is a true power puncher, and this skill of his was showcased evidently in round two. Well, not exactly a ballerina in there, though. And he's really slowing down, and he's getting in the wheel. This round, as well as the next round, involved the boxers exchanging quite a few blows with each other while getting into a clinch from time to time. In the middle of the round three, Butterbean threw in a body shot and followed that up with a right hand that sent Marcus Road straight to the canvas with a bang. Right now, it's just a side shot. Big ripping shots by Butterbean, and it started with the body shot. Road could not beat the count and lost the match to Butterbean. Number 7. Butterbean vs. Paul Springer most of the matches that Butterbean fought were scheduled for four rounds, and so was this match. Round one saw both the boxers enter into a clinch, and the referee had to intervene and split them apart. Paul kept aiming at Butterbean's head and eventually pushed him against ropes and kept hurling punches at him. The referee had to intervene and separate the boxers yet again, as Butterbean was in quite the lethal and disadvantageous position. Butterbean realized that it was high time to retaliate back, and started unleashing his deadly power punches pretty quickly. Butterbean then threw in two straight hooks to Paul's cheekbone. No, Paul collapsed vertically to the canvas and was totally unaware of what had just happened to him. Butterbean was able to win this match in just 47 seconds of round one, and this quick knockout was quite an accomplishment for him. Number 6. Butterbean vs. Pat Jackson In the first round between Butterbean and Pat Jackson, 
Butterbean fought instinctively and Pat was fighting fundamentally, which is why it was not working for him. Jackson threw in a few jabs at Butterbean and missed. Jackson continued to throw in a few more blows at Butterbean, aiming straight at his head. Jackson then threw in a nice right hand and Butterbean realized that it was time to up his game. Butterbean tried to dig the body there now. Jackson stood up there. In round two, Butterbean threw in punches like a maniac, just as he was advised to by his team. Butterbean's punches were so powerful and fast that Pat Jackson was tired of enduring this pain and standing his ground. Butterbean showed some great bodywork in round three and kept throwing hands at Pat Jackson, who was holding on to his dear life. Both the boxers were taking turns in being against the ropes when Butterbean threw in a solid punch that hit the referee accidentally as the referee got in the way. That might be one of the most dramatic shots he walked into. Boy, that's combat pain. The referee fell flat on the canvas, and Pat was in a pretty fatigued and beaten up state that he did not wish to fight anymore either. Number 5. Butterbean vs. Joe Siciliano Siciliano did not waste any time, and as soon as the bell for the first round was sounded, he went in for the attack and threw a powerful shot to the side of Butterbean's head. Joe kept trying to attack Butterbean, but was getting harder and more powerful blows thrown back at him instead. In fact, Butterbean's blows were so strong that Joe got knocked down around five times. And another right hand, and down goes Siciliano. Siciliano fought on the inside, and Butterbean was very happy about this, as it opened up an opportunity for him to throw in some of his best moves. In fact, these moves included some pretty hard blows that hurt Joe pretty badly. In the second round of the match, Butterbean threw in a solid left hook to Siciliano's head and knocked the wind out of him. Prior to this, Butterbean had thrown in a body shot that Siciliano had no time to recover from before receiving this left hook. Siciliano was left in a day state and lost the match one minute and ten seconds into the second round of this super heavyweight match. Number 4. Butterbean vs. Ed White White initiated the action in round one with a jab followed by a right hand and was able to dominate his opponent for a while. Ed kept throwing punches and Butterbean kept taking them in one at a time. After throwing in some major power punches in that first minute, Ed White was fatigued and his heavy breathing was evidence to back up this fact. In round two, Ed White threw in a hard right hand and Butterbean tried to respond with his own left hand. Butterbean then threw in a surprising right hand that Ed White did not see coming. Ed White was dropped to the canvas due to the sponge that connected with his body. Butterbean was able to do this due to the fact that White kept his hands too low. Butterbean then threw in a flurry of punches that knocked down Ed White fair and square. Do it. Number 3. Butterbean vs. Richard Davis Butterbean attempted a jab, but Richard escaped the jab and moved out of the position he was standing in. Butterbean closed in and attempted to tie him up and threw in a few punches that did not connect. Butterbean then tagged him with a left hook, but that did not do a lot of damage to Richard. Richard seemed to be very nervous and stiff in the ring, and his posture and overall composure showcased just that. After throwing in a few punches, Butterbean threw in a left hand that sent Richard falling through the ropes and onto the canvas. This took place just one minute into the ring, and it was one of Butterbean's quickest wins. Richard managed to get back up after being knocked down, but seemed to be in a shocked and dazed state, due to which the referees deemed it unsafe for the match to continue forward. Number 2. Butterbean vs. Billy Eaton 2 In the third round of this match, which was scheduled for a total of four rounds, Butterbean and Billy Eaton started the round aggressively. The other rounds of the match started off rather calmly. In the previous rounds, Eaton had outpunched Butterbean and Butterbean really had to up his game and dominate this round to win. Eaton had Butterbean against ropes and kept throwing in right hands at him. A little into the round, Butterbean landed a left hook to Billy Eaton's chin that sent Eaton to his knee on the canvas. Eaton was not expecting that and the crowds went on to cheer when they witnessed that knockdown. Number 1. Butterbean vs. Rodney Phillips In round 1 of this match, Rodney had his hands down and that opened up a lot of opportunities for Butterbean to throw in good punches. In round 2, Butterbean threw his right hand at Rodney's face, which sent him falling straight to the canvas. The punch was quite lethal and powerful, and Rodney really felt the intensity of that punch. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the Home of Boxing. See you very soon.